Hello, and congratulations on your decision to take a Citrix training course. This short video will hopefully prepare you for the first day of class and make you familiar with the interactive format of the course. We'll cover what needs to be done before class starts, as well as the best layout of your work environment to maximize your learning experience. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have a working My Citrix account. Sometimes you'll have this as a part of your corporate team. Other times you'll create one for your own personal use. This account allows you to download trial software, participate in Citrix support forums, and we'll be using it to access the training material for this course. If you already have a My Citrix account, great. If not, the account creation process is very straightforward. Simply visit www.citrix.com and at the top of the page, click on the login button. Underneath the login box, you'll see the option to create an account. Once you have your My Citrix account taken care of, you're ready to access the course materials. You should have been supplied with what is called an SRK link. It takes you to the training.citrix.com website and asks you to log in with your My Citrix credentials. Once authenticated, you should see the details of the course you're enrolled in. At the bottom, you're offered access to the online courseware and materials by clicking on the Enroll button. Once enrolled, you access your materials by visiting training.citrix.com, logging in with your MyCitrix credentials, and clicking on My Training. You'll see the course details for the specific class you're in, as well as a link to the student resources. You may need to click the Show button to see a list of materials that are available. The courseware listed here will be yours as long as you have your MyCitrix account. It won't disappear at the end of class. You'll always be able to come back and see any notes that you took in the eCourseware. Speaking of courseware, let's take a look at what you'll get access to. The specific options will vary depending on which course you've enrolled in. You'll also see that there are various versions of the courseware and they're listed in two different sections, the classroom materials and the additional materials. Don't be alarmed if it seems like an overwhelming number of resources here. There are two main formats for the courseware and each format comes in different versions depending on the lab environment that you're using. Your instructor will explain which lab system you're using on the first day of class. You'll want to make note of it and be sure to use the same courseware every time for the rest of the week. Most instructors will also be using the new eCourseWare format. You'll see this listed in the classroom materials section. This courseware uses HTML5 and renders in a browser without the need for installing software. In many cases, it also combines the courseware and the lab guides into one easy to navigate format. Another thing you might want to be aware of before the first day of class is the different methods that might be used for accessing the labs. Some lab systems will be browser-based and allows you to interact with the machines using just an HTML5 web browser. Others will require you to either set up an RDP connection to a machine in the lab or use a Citrix receiver. It might be a good idea to visit www.citrix.com and download the latest Citrix receiver to make sure you're ready to go. You may also want to check with your network or firewall team and make sure you have access out of your corporate environment using RDP ports 3389 as well as the Citrix ICA ports 1494 and 2598. Now that you've seen the courseware and how you'll be accessing the labs, let's talk about the most ideal way to organize this material. The best recommendation would be to use dual monitors. Having a dual monitor setup makes it easy to open up the eCourseware or lab guide on one monitor while having the lab environment open on the other. You can then work through the labs on one screen and scroll through the lab steps on the other. In situations where you don't have access to dual monitors, you can use a second device, such as a laptop or tablet, to view the course we're on. Computer or laptop can be used for accessing the lab environment, while the tablet can be used for accessing the coursework. This makes it easy to see both resources at once and improve efficiency. Using a single monitor and having to flip back and forth between the courseware and the labs is not ideal, and it often leads to the labs taking longer to complete. For those taking a class at a training center with the instructor present, you'll obviously have an instructor right in front of you and often have a projector in the room for seeing their presentations and demos. For those taking a virtual class, you'll be using a Citrix online collaboration platform such as GoToTraining or GoToMeeting. This software allows you to see, 
hear and interact with the instructor as well as other students. Oftentimes, in-class students will join the online sessions and interact as well. You'll be able to see the instructor live via webcam, chat with them using instant messaging, or talk directly using your machine's audio hardware or by dialing in from a telephone. You can see their presentations and demos exactly like you would as if you were in class. Speaking of in-class, let's talk about a couple things to expect on the first day. Most instructors know that sitting and listening to a lecture can be tiresome. You'll typically get a short break every hour or hour and a half, just a few minutes here or there to use the restroom, grab some coffee, or check emails. Also, most classes allow just a 30-minute break for lunch to maximize the time spent on instruction and labs during the week. Some instructors may be able to lengthen that or combine it with a regular break to give you a few extra minutes, but it may be best to plan to only have 30 minutes for lunch. We hope this video has explained what you should expect out of your training experience and will help prepare you for a great week. If you still have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your training contact and we'll be more than happy to assist you.